Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. And today I've got, yet again, another unboxing for you. This one is my monthly Thrive Box. Don't worry, this is not all that was in here. It was actually came in two shipments, so I'm glad I didn't film this yesterday. This little guy came this morning. Sometimes they do that, it was just like a couple little things back in there. But I get Thrive Market once a month, so I don't have to go to the grocery store. I am kind of stocking up on a few things because it is January 21st right now and we have a bet that baby is coming, when did I say? I was just guessing February 18th, it's a Friday. I have my reasons because Paul was born on a holiday weekend in January, so I was jokingly saying this baby will come watch the Friday before a holiday in February, which in the States is President's Day, so that would be Friday the 18th. So I'm stocking up on a couple things. I'm getting to the point where I'm pretty uncomfortable. I have to wear a belly band now because baby's not in the right position. I went to the midwife this week and she told me to wear this thing. So my belly is just a little uncomfortable and I'm getting like winded. I have zero desire to go to a grocery store anytime soon. So services like Thrive and Misfit Market and I feel like there's another one, Costco, have been amazing. I can get almost everything and butcher box, almost everything delivered to the house and I don't have to leave, which is nice. So anyway, I got a couple other things, some things for Paul and I got a new food storage thingamabob that I wanted to show you guys. So let me flip you around and I'll show you what I got. So here's everything I got. Paul is up from his nap early watching poo in the background if you hear it, I apologize. So kind of a large order, not too large for me. This is pretty much what I get on a monthly basis from Thrive. So starting way over here, I wanted to get their bamboo toilet paper, but they're out, so I got the seventh generation. And this is 100% recycled paper, post-consumer recycled paper. I was hoping for the bamboo because I like that one and it's better for the environment than paper, but this is still awesome. So I got two packs of these. There's 12 rows in each one. Then I got if you watch any of these new, I get these every single time. The olives, this one is Zesty Italian. This one is original, that's for Matt to bring to work. I am not the olive fan, I wish I was. I got these because I don't wanna say what they are because little one is right over there. My birth center has these and Paul will occupy himself with these for quite a while. So I bought a pack and these are kind of like emergencies only. I'm gonna shove them in my purse just in case, you know, we're out and about and Paul's being a little hellion like he was a few weeks ago at the birth center and I can give him these. That's pretty much all these are for. This is kind of new the last couple weeks. They've had this canola oil, I really like it. So I got another one. I haven't made my way through the other one, but I just like to have a second one on hand. Then some kind of staples around here. This is the smoky chipotle salsa. This is Matt's favorite, so I just get this to keep in the pantry. I got some original unsweetened applesauce for Paul and myself. I got some more white jasmine rice. I got some King Arthur organic all-purpose flour. I don't necessarily need this, but I can put it in the pantry. We always need ketchup in this house, so I got another ketchup. This is the upside down ones that squirt from the bottom. That was new to Thrive a couple months ago. Matt requested this. We got this from Costco in a bigger bottle. This is the, the smaller size that, that Thrive Market has. So this is the buffalo sauce. We have it with wings. And this one is, my camera's not focusing, but it says medium heat. Matt said it's, it's pretty good. So we have wings. I just have salt and pepper on mine. And Matt dunks his in this stuff. I got me some canned garlic just because I'm pregnant and any little shortcut I can take, I will take it. Down here, I got some more yogurt starter because I have not been on top of my yogurt. If I am on top of it and just use yogurt from the last batch to do the ne next one, it works really, really well, but I've been having like weeks in between. So I got some more starter. I got some green lentils. This is the first time I bought green lentils from them. I like putting them in soup and whatnot. What would you like to say, Bubby? Oh. I'm gonna go. Thank you, you're giving me my monster car. Monster truck, sorry. We'll put him right here. So what else did I got, what else? Baking cocoa, so this is not like hot chocolate, this is like cocoa powder. I'm hoping this fits in my Oxo container, it's a lot more than I thought it was gonna be. But I got that, what does this say? Ethically sourced, direct from farmers, organic, Whole30 approved, regeneratively grown, all that good stuff, plant-based, superfood cocoa powder. I got some more raw almonds because I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to make my own almond milk with the Vitamix. I've heard it's really, really good. I've just 
have been chickening out and haven't done it just yet. I got some aluminum foil just to keep on hand. This is 100% recycled. I have some maple syrup. This is organic, 100% pure Vermont maple syrup just to kind of restock what is missing. So then speaking of, I got four, this is not a four pack, I just bought four of them. This is the, I don't know how to say this, Khalifa Farms Unsweetened Vanilla Almond Milk. I really like this. I have this in cereal and my protein shake every day. This stuff is baby stuff, kind of, sort of. So Paul's hair sometimes is getting out of control. We use the Honest Shampoo and Body Wash, but I got this detangler hoping that I can tame his cowlick down a little bit. And this one is Sweet Orange Vanilla. So I got that. Then I got Cold Calm Baby. I like to use this the second he looks like he's getting sick instead of, obviously he can't use cold medicine, he's too little. Instead of relying on Tylenol and ibuprofen, I give him this stuff. I like this brand in general. I've used a couple of their stuff. They're like a homeopathic brand. Then I got some nibble balm, which is exactly what you think it's for. This is going in my postpartum box. I think I have almost everything I need to film my postpartum haul kind of video, showing everything that I have been gathering for after I give birth, and this is gonna be one of them. So I will put that with all that madness. I got Paul some more of these baby Q-tips. They're the ones that are kind of like huge at the end so they don't go into their ear. It's um, organic cotton baby swabs. So this is the one Matt is gonna be the most excited about. I was the most nervous to buy it because they're very expensive. We've been loving the pop top silicone ones mostly because they just go in the dishwasher. You don't have to hand wash them. So these have kind of snack size, which is the size bags that Matt wanted for work. I have a baby in my hand so I can't pull them apart at the second but there are three sizes in here and they go right in the dishwasher. Okay, so since that was the last one, let me flip you around. So this set of three has like a sandwich size bag. Actually it looks like two sandwich size bags and then a bigger bag, which I was gonna use for like cheese or something. Yeah, two sandwich size bags and then a larger one. And you can use them in the microwave, the stove top, freezer friendly, dishwasher safe, oven safe, sous vide ready. I don't know if I pronounced that right. The one where you boil it and cook things. So the silicone bags that we were using before for snacks and whatnot were not dishwasher safe, so we'd have to hand wash them. Not the end of the world, but kind of a pain in the butt, especially when you have a million things going on. So I'm excited to try the stasher bags. They have smaller ones. If we like these, they have smaller ones that I'll get. I mean, I don't remember how much that set was. Like $30 sticks in my head, something like that. They're not cheap. I'm hoping we like them. So anyway, that's everything in my Thrive Box. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you next time. You wanna say goodbye? Say bye. Bye. What if the world yep. had yeah, turn the button on. Turn the button on. Okay. Okay. Say bye-bye. <laughs> so cute. I love you. And yes, just in case you were wondering, it is, what did I say, January 21st, and we still have our Christmas tree up. I'm super pregnant and can't haul that thing down to the basement, so I'm waiting on my husband, who's just been super duper busy, but it's coming down this weekend. It is. Bye, guys. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope.